Although uh, reports have named you the starter, no word from DA. What can you say about your position right now? Uh, I'm just going day to day and just training and then training my mind and uh, preparing like you know like I like I always do like I will be a starter and uh, I believe coach he 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 told us all on the team that uh, he's he's addressed you guys about that situation so he doesn't really want me talking about it or I don't you know so just let coach answer that. How much different of a quarterback are you now than the guy who started the last game last year? Uh, great bit you know. Uh, just being comfortable and understanding, uh, uh, like I said before, uh, not only with mechanics, uh, I've learned a great bit, you know, and I'm, I'm very uh, grateful and, and happy about that. Um, but, you know, uh, like I said, uh, it's hard to stop a guy that has a mind of getting better every day. And uh, I don't know if guy, people keep hearing me say that, and I don't know if take, they, people take me serious, but I'm, I'm serious. You know? uh, and even, you know, every day, uh, I could go one day, whenever, two, three years from now, I could throw four or five touchdowns, you know, and every single game in a, in a year. And I still want to get better, you know, and I, I want to get the, the, the most unique thing in, is that I want to ex try to excel and get as high, you know, and, and as great to see where I could get. You know, take my potential. You know, and that's just that's something that drives me just to see how far I can go. You know, and how how well I can do and, and stuff like that. So uh, every day, I try to get better. What does it help your, getting the time working with the first team that you've gotten the last few weeks? You have a lot more time with those with those starters. How much yeah, has that helped in terms of chemistry and building up your? Uh, it's great. You know, uh, obviously, it's not getting it from the beginning of the um, uh, it's, it's different, you know, because you're still building that chemistry. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> but uh, uh, every day, you know, whether I'm throwing to them on air or in a tee, in a tee with a drill, uh, try to build that chemistry with the guys uh, at the areas. <coughs> and uh, Rod and, you know, all, them, all the guys that are the first team guys. What's your preference when you go on? Road, do you like silent count, or do you like to bark out the plays? You like walk up and down the line, or uh, signals, or which? In terms of what? In terms of being a quarterback, and, you know, dealing with the noise. Uh, it's tough, you know. I, th I thought uh, we did very well uh, versus Seattle. He talks in terms of that. Um, we got protection calls handled pretty well. A couple of minor things, you know, but things happen like that, you know. And, uh, uh, and that was just practice, you know, and every day uh, I get practice at it, Matt gets practice, and us as a group, uh, we all get practice at it just to communicate with very loud music that's probably more loud than uh, the stadiums that we'll be going to. So uh, definitely signals, uh, silent count. It all depends on the situation, whether you want to get them to jump on a hard count. Uh, Is uh, it? Signaling guys. I mean, is it easier to deal with that in the NFL because you're not playing Michigan, you know, where this guy went? <laughs> where it's 111,000? No, it's, it's, I mean, I guess it's just something that's um, definitely with being with Ole, it's just, uh, it's just in us, you know, that's what he teaches, you know, and he, what he expects, and I expect what Coach Ole expects, you know, so does Matt and Tyler. We, uh, we definitely expect what he expects, so he expects us to handle it. And it's, I mean, to answer your question, it's much harder to uh, communicate in the NFL, I believe, because there's so many different things you have to worry about, protections. Uh, if you see a coverage you like, uh, and a guy you want to get the ball to in a certain coverage, you have to signal. So, you know, it's definitely, whereas in college, you know, you can just, just go with the flow. You know, it's not that case. And, uh, and But you prepare for that, and you understand that. Uh, what, what's gonna, what may come up, and you know, uh, that's why you practice. That's why we practice. Do you feel like you're in the flow with that first unit? You know, given that you kind of started running with them what, two weeks ago, something like that. Uh, <clears throat> like I said, whatever coach chooses, you know, for Sunday, uh, uh, it doesn't matter. You know, I, I have to be a sick. You know, it's whether whatever the case may be, uh, I believe that uh, we're. We're all getting uh, we're getting good work together, and uh, you know, getting used to some of them guys, and even some of the guys. You know, there's not that many receivers now. You know, so all type, different types of guys are gonna be moving in and out.
So uh, it, just, it just depends uh, what the situation. Let's just say you are the guy leading this team on Sunday. There's going to be emotions there. You've been working for this. You know, you said your goal is to be a starting quarterback. Mm -hmm. so there has to be emotions there. Uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, I'm going to pray. And, uh, you know, whatever whatever the choice is, you know, I'll, I'll be ready. You know, I prepared even back in my first year when uh, Carson first gave it. At, uh, even last year when I was in, in, I was in nowhere in sight to even play. Uh, I still studied and I still was in the room with him and trying to understand defenses, trying to get better. So, uh, and from that case, I, I don't think I think for my preparation, uh, especially uh, a game week where you get a full week, I think I believe my mind, uh, my, my spirits, my mind uh, will be very. Uh, I'll be comfortable. I believe so. So, uh, you know, uh, if that's the case, uh, I'll be ready. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Joe. Thanks. Thanks.